Jesus Christ, the Son of God, was born for you and me. He came to bring the good news from sin to set us free. The blind, the deaf, the lame, the poor, His power meant to see. He gave His life upon the cross, eternal life to He broke bread and shed wine before His agony. We share the body and the blood in His memory. To make His message known is our responsibility. So here we are to pledge our lives to the Lord of eternity.
Good morning, parents. Good morning, parents, guardians, students, teachers, and speakers. I'm Miss Catherine Gahudo from the Student Welfare Services K-10 Unit. And I will be your host for today's orientation program. We are virtually gathered here today for the online orientation and reorientation of K-10 students with their parents. This is for the academic year 2022 to 2023. We will formally start our program with a prayer. Let us all welcome Christ in our midst. Mr. Jose Paulo Espinosa will lead us to the opening prayer. May the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. God, our loving Father, we praise and glorify you in this moment of togetherness. Gathered as one, as a family of faithful believers searching for wisdom and truth. We are here before you to be one in mind, one in heart, and one in deeds. As we start this academic year, May your spirit guide us in our journey filled with your love, understanding, faith, and perseverance so that we may bring each one of us to your loving embrace. Bless all our dear parents as they entrust their children in this institution to be part of their children's journey of faith and knowledge that they may be God's hands in taking care of their children. Bless all their teachers and administrators that they may also be God's instrument of truth, wisdom, and love as they perform their task of being a beacon of light in their students' journey towards perfection and mostly towards Christ. Loving Father, we also ask your blessings and the guidance to these children who are now about to take a step higher in their being as they enter in this new academic year, may they be filled with your spirit so that they may bear and grow in love. These we ask you in the name of our Lord Jesus, through the intercession of our Blessed Virgin Mary, Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. Let us all join in singing our national anthem.
Good morning once again. Are you all excited for the new academic year? Ha, huh, students? This school year is an exciting one, isn't it? Do you agree, students and parents, that this school year is an exciting one? So who among you students are excited? Huh? Can I see who among you are excited for this school year? All right. Okay. So we got to see our teachers and classmates for this school year, right? Because we are going to have our face-to-face -face classes. Okay. And to give us her warm welcome for the school year, for the academic year 2022-2023, dear parents and students, here is our beloved basic education department principal, Sister Gemma Valenzuela OSA. Let's give her our virtual applause. Good morning, Sister Gemma. Good morning. Is my audio all right? Let's pop. Okay. So, dear parents, students, guardians, administrators, teachers, and staff of La Consolation University Philippines, a grace-filled morning to all of you as we begin this academic year 2022-2023 with this parents and students orientation on virtual platform. The COVID-19 pandemic did not only bring us difficulties in life, but it also made us explore and discover more of our God-given talents and gifts as a person and use them all wisely in the past two years of pandemic. As parents, you were anxious of the future of your family because health and financial resources were threatened. As students, you too were anxious and have coped hard with the challenges and difficulties and demands of distant learning, and so on and so forth. The school, our beloved LCUP, also had its share of difficulties, particularly our teachers. Your teachers, my dear students. However, they made sure that despite and in spite of the situation, they were there to assist you, to help you, to teach you, to inspire and encourage you to pursue your dreams and achieve your goal. Because we believe, they believe that life must go on and education must continue no matter what. Your presence today in this orientation proves that you have taken another step toward the achievement of your goal. I know you are all excited to go back to study and learn with your classmates physically and meet your friends after two years of being in the virtual classroom. May I remind you then that your health is your personal responsibility. With this, I encourage you to eat well, study well, sleep well, pray well, and follow all the safety and health protocols set by our school, the La Consolation University Philippines, in order to maintain a healthy mind, a healthy body, and a healthy spirit throughout the year. May this academic year 2022-2023 be another fruitful and meaningful learning experience for all of us. Once again, I welcome you all to this new school year. Thank you and God bless us. Thank you very much, Mr. Principal, for the lovely and heartfelt welcome. And thank you also for the reminders to our students for this incoming academic year. Okay. So, dear Consolanians, for the past two years, we had so much struggles in our academic life spent online due to the pandemic. Here in LCUP, there is this one person who inspired us to go on and move forward. A person who has been by our side, who never gave up and remained standing still, standing firm for all of us. Consolanians, here is our beloved university president, 
to give us her inspirational talk, Sister Editha S. Zerna, OSA. Distinguished sisters, respected LCUP school administrators, my dear teaching and non-teaching personnel of the Basic Education Department, beloved students and parents, a blessed and hopeful day to all. As an educational institution, La Consolación University Philippines is established with a strong commitment and conviction to provide you, our dear students, quality education anchored on the aspiration of producing graduates imbibed with Catholic Marian Agostinian values. In spite of the global health crisis, which affected the lives of people around the world, this day is considered as a blessing for all of us. The holding of this orientation activity signifies that we are ready for the now normal. The COVID-19 crisis is still here, affecting how we live our lives, how you will attend school and classes. But we are hopeful that things will get better. Remember that this shall pass, and by the grace of God, we will overcome the hardships and challenges ahead of us. As we begin the new academic year, let us be inspired by the thought that God is with us throughout our journey. Be assured that you are in good hands. The university administration has thoroughly prepared the facilities, reconfigured academic strategies, planned the appropriate teaching and learning modalities, trained teachers and personnel to ensure your maximum learning. Our dear students, I urge you to commit yourselves in your studies. Be devoted and serious learners, for your learning rests on your hands. Your teachers are simply facilitators of learning. More importantly, be imbued with the core values of the university. Practice these values as children of your parents and as students of LCUP. To our dear parents, we extend to you our gratitude for your continuous trust in choosing La Consolación University Philippines to be your children's school in the new normal. We would like to know that our commitment to develop globally competent graduates instilled with Catholic Augustinian Marian values has not wavered. Let us always be hand in hand in accomplishing this objective. Together, we would have them to be good Christians, loving and caring citizens, especially to those less fortunate and abandoned. God loves a cheerful giver. Let them be and futuristic in their outlook of life. I wish a fruitful academic year. Keep safe and God bless you all. Thank you very much, our beloved sister president, for continuously inspiring all of us. God is with us always. And now, to familiarize our students and parents with the administrators, teachers, and LCUP religious community, may I call in our ever supportive Human Resource Department Director, Professor Ruth Reyes Malabiga. Good 
Okay, good morning everyone. Am I audible, Ma'am Kat? Yes po. Okay, so good morning again everyone, our dear parents and students. Welcome back to La Consolacion. And for now, it will be in a face-to-face, -face, uh, limited face-to-face -face setup. So for this year, um, uh, LCUP Administrators, Academic Year 2022-2023, so we have uh, for the top management, of course, you have met our dearest uh, university president, Sister Edita Esserna, OSA PhD. Our vice president for academic affairs, Dr. Divina Ann M. Eusebio. Our vice president for graduate studies, Dr. Enrico F. Rosales. Our vice president for research publications and linkages, Dr. Mark Ray C. Santos. Our Vice President for Religious Formation and Extension, Sister Mary Sheba O. Principe OSA. Our Vice President for Finance and Administrative Services, Professor Marisa DJ Ventura. For our academic heads for this year, we have the Dean for the College of Arts, Sciences and Education, Dr. Olivia P. Almario. The Dean for the College of Information Technology and Engineering, Dr. Joseph D. Espino. The Dean for the College of International Tourism and Hospitality Management, Professor Fe Corazon C. Villanueva. The Dean for the College of Business, Entrepreneurship and Accountancy, Dr. Maria Corazon D. Segismundo. The Dean for the College of Medicine, Dr. Maria Cristina Izulueta. The Dean for the College of Allied Medical Professions, Dr. Jocelyn B. Hipona. Our dearest principal for the Basic Education Department for this school year, we have Sister Gemma P. Valenzuela, OSA. Our Director for Alternative Education Program, Professor Maria Elizabeth B. Vivar. Yours truly, the Director for Human Resource and Development, Ruth R. Malabiga. The Director for Quality Assurance and Accreditation, we have Dr. Alejandro P. Vistan. The Director for Integral Evangelization Program, we have Mr. Jose Paulo V. Espinosa. The Director for Extension Program, we have Professor Rudy Angelo S. R. Juan. The Director for Student Affairs and Services, Dr. Rosalyn S. Galvez. The Director for Marketing and Promotions Office and at the same time, the Crisis Manager of the University, Professor Ezequiel D. Rodriguez. The Director for Library and Information Center, we have Dr. Maria Mercedes M. Haas. The Director for Administrative Services, Coordinator of Security Services and Coordinator of Food Services and at the same time, the Coordinator for Religious Community, Sister Helen Grace Dolino, OSA. The Director for Management Information System, we have Professor Florante R. Reyes. Our University Registrar, Dr. Maria Lourdes D. Cervantes. For the Basic Education Department, we have the assistant principal for this year, grade 12, and at the same time, the institutional sports officer, Professor Rory Mar L. Maliari. The assistant principal for senior high school, grade 11, and the director of institutional science laboratory, we have Professor Virgilio N. Bantige. The assistant principal for K-10 program for this year and at the same time, the coordinator of early childhood education, Professor Maria Kathleen K. C. Rodriguez. Our subject area coordinator for TLETVL Home Econ Economics and MAFE, we have Ms. Diana Carleen M. Felix. Our subject area coordinator for English, we have Ms. Aliana Concepcion C. Gonzalez. Our subject area coordinator for science, we have Ms. Mona Lisa A. Suba. Subject area coordinator for mathematics, we have engineer Felix F. Pasqua Jr. Our subject area coordinator for Filipino and social science, we have Professor Maria Jesusa Castro Caparas. Our subject area coordinator for religion, we have Professor Mylene J. Ebrada. 
our subject air coordinator for computer and robotics, we have Mr. Wilfred B. Sarmiento. And for this year, LCUP Religious Community Sisters, of course, we have our president, Sister Edita S. Serna OSA, our vice president, Sister Mary Sheba OS, uh, Sheba O. Principe OSA, Sister Gemma P. Valenzuela OSA, Sister Helen Grace Delina OSA, together with them, we have Sister Petronila Egalin OSA, Sister Marina Fabiliar OSA, Sister Hisako Okuda OSA, and lastly, Sister Bernadette Taksagon OSA. My dear parents and students, these are the uh, there are the uh, top administrators for this um, top administrative academic heads department side for this school year 2023-20. Uh, 2022 2023 and of course the religious community of sisters thank you very much thank you mom ruth for that wonderful introduction i hope that you all get to familiarize yourselves with the lcup community moving on to our orientation proper may i request everyone to listen attentively to our speakers as they acquaint us with the different services and activities provided by the individual department of la consolacion university philippines first and foremost as consolanians let us all get acquainted with the highly significant vision mission and core values of lcup May I call in the Vice President for Spiritual and Religious Formation, Sister Mary Sheba Principe, OSA. Hello, good morning. Thank you, Ms. Kat. So a blessed morning to my dedicated colleagues in education, to the basic education department, especially to the K-10 K parents, guardians, and students who are with us today virtually, welcome to La Consolation University, Philippines. So allow me to present to you the La Consolation University, Philippines vision, mission, and its core values. To begin with, with our institutional philosophy, it states that as a Catholic university, LCUP believes that a true Marian Augustinian student has a commitment to Christ-centered prophetic witnessing as manifested through his or her spirit of national and global concern for the church, his or her country, and for other persons. The La Consolation University Philippines, through its formal curricular as well as non-formal programs, aims toward the holistic development of the individual inspired by the teachings of St. Augustine, the life of Our Lady of Consolation rooted in gospel values. Our vision statement states that, moved by the spirit of the recent Christ, La Consolation University Philippines envisions itself to become a Catholic for the holistic transformational development of Catholic Augustinian Marian graduates rooted in gospel values. So in La Consolation University Philippines is under the patronage of our great father, St. Augustine of Hippo, and with a special devotion to the Blessed Virgin Mary, especially to Our Lady of Consolation. The university, being a Catholic institution, promotes learning in the Augustinian Marian tradition, guided by the gospel values that will positively affect transformation to our respective homes, to our community, to the businesses, organizations, institutions, the larger community, and the church. 
to achieve the above vision, So LCUP commits itself to generate and make available to its Augustinian Marian students programs and services that will make them first exhibit academic and technical competence and their respective areas of discipline in the local and international environment. The university has high hopes and her desire to offer the best that she has in order to develop individuals with excellent teaching and learning experience. That is why we cultivate culture of excellence so that our students will go beyond from what is expected from them as an individual and as a professional. We give our students professional development goals both in local and international to help them understand that it takes a wide diversity of skills to be successful in any situation and that there are always new skills to be learned and new situations in which to apply their pre-existing skills. Second is to demonstrate their knowledge critical thinking, and creativity by exploring the various avenues of learning and searching for truth. In LCUP, we provide the 21st century learning platforms uh, environment no, where traditional and digital arrangements and the different platforms are blended. Now we offer face-to-face -face and online platform teaching strategies, learning modalities, services, and activities. Because we believe that effective and effective learning environments is not limited to time or space, but it encompasses a variety of provisions, programs, and arrangements that take into consideration the ways in which we learn best as well as the unique learning needs of each student that to be addressed. Third is to manifest their willingness to serve especially marginalized sector of our society. So we engage our students together with their families, our alumni, and mission partners toward a world sustainable development by assisting and uplifting the lives of our community partners through our community extension services. So we teach our students to be socially responsible through charism journey, exposure, immersion to the poor people's life realities and concrete compassionate examples or corporal works of mercy to the needy and less privileged in the society. And also we promote in LCUP the advocacy for the integrity of creation. We want our students also to develop the volunteerism, especially in serving the marginalized sectors of our society. Fourth is to demonstrate productivity in various areas of learning as responsible citizens of the society. Search for knowledge is an ingredient in a holistic development of human spirit. For this reason, in LCUP, we nurture the value of pursuit for knowledge and wisdom to our students so that they will become responsible citizens of our country through producing world-class scientific research to help our society and the whole humanity. But of course, but of course we coupled with faith and prayer. Fifth is to live the gospel values 
and the varied aspects of their personal and professional lives. In fidelity to our mission of forming our students and to becoming academically and technically competent, so possessing the 21st century learning skills who will catalyze the next generation into a better version of human person. We also commit ourselves and molding our graduates to become competent Augustinian Marian professionals, which values rooted in gospel values, which is integral for the holistic transformational development of an individual. So allow me to present to you the core values of the university. So the university has six core values okay, aligned to the values of our great father, St. Augustine. So first is interiority interiority or turning inward and returning to our inner self encountering the reality of ourselves and its sinfulness through prayer reflection and contemplative silence for us to transcend to an ultimate encounter with god so we are all invited to grow in interiority of saint augustine we should have a constant entering to ourselves that will surely lead us to our grow, growth and self-knowledge and the knowledge of God, like our great father, St. Augustine. So as St. Augustine teaches us, we have Christ within us as our teacher. So let us be attentive to the teacher within towards our holiness or our holiness. So LCUP provides spiritual programs and activities such as masses, recollections, retreats, faith life sharing, and offering theology classes to our students so that they will have a venue to pray, reflect, and connect with their God through knowing Christ and following Christ which is necessary for cultivating holiness and integrity. Moreover, um, this year we promise to develop our programs and activities for our students. Next is compassion. So I quote from St. Augustine in his confession, what does love look like? So it has the hands to help others. It has the feet to hasten the poor and needy. It has eyes to see misery and want. It has the ears to hear the sighs and sorrows of men. That is what love looks like. Compassion is loving and extending our care for others by understanding their feelings, recognizing their needs and responding to them. So the university is active in community extension services and other community social responsibility, such as preservation of our common home, the earth, disaster or calamities response and charitable acts for we are ordained to bring consolation to those who are suffering, needy, poor, and less privileged. Our compassion should not only feel, no, but should be seen in our daily actions. So we don't actually need to go out to extend our compassion, no, in, because we can already extend our compassion within the campus. Next, humility. So accepting our reality and the sacredness in us and of others. 
So allowing us to recognize and appreciate our strengths and limitations, willingly accepting feedbacks and or brotherly or sisterly corrections, and taking the opportunity to transcend and learn from those and being grateful to God for uniquely creating us for a certain purpose. So as Agustinian, we value and appreciate the corrections and feedbacks from one another for the reason that we need to transcend into the best version of ourselves. So we need other people to grow. So in LCUP, we mentor one another for everybody has something to teach us and the humility to accept that we need others you know, to reach the ladder of success and the greatness in the eyes of God. Next is community orientedness, fostering a spirit of friendship, unity, and interdependentness based on mutual trust and respect to create a socially responsible environment that would challenge each one to be united and committed to reaching a common goal. Here we cultivate the spirit of friendship within and beyond the boundaries of our campus. One of the marks of being Augustinian that is unique to us is, is that we are friendly to all, approachable. So we strive to build unity among each one in the community by being friendly to all. In our communion, we become of one mind and one heart for reaching our common goal. Next, courage. Fostering the ability to freely express our thoughts and ideas bravely speaking the truth in a prudent manner, having the audacity to give and accept brotherly or sisterly corrections, and doing the right things that is based on gospel values. Even other people are doing the other way around. Here we create students that are courageously expressing their being and knowledge but of course, in a prudent manner, for it is wisdom to know what, when, and where to speak and to keep quiet. To know and to master oneself is a strength and not a weakness. So it is better to do right based on gospel values than to think that we are always right. For our last core value, so according to St. Augustine, the degree to which you are concerned for the common good rather than for your own is the criterion by which you can judge how much progress you have made. So missionary spirit is living a life that touches others a life witnessing the examples and teaching of Christ, and the boldness to respond to the call of time. In LCUP, we facilitate for your discovery of your greater purpose in life through the examples of the life of St. Augustine and the life of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Our Lady of Consolation, who played a vital role in our salvation history. Like the two who live the examples of Christ, Consolanians are challenged to imitate Christ by allowing others to encounter our Lord Jesus Christ in our person. So we are demanded to evangelize the world through our life witnessing. Okay. And La Consolation University, we have also following goals.
First is to provide basic and higher formal and innovative education programs that are nationalist, globalist, and character and responsive to international standards of respons responsive excellence. Second, to generate and diffuse knowledge in the, in the broad range of discipline relevant and receptive to the night to the dynamically changing domestic and international environment. Third, to broaden the access of deserving and qualified students to higher education opportunities. Four, to optimize the social institutions 